Hey everyone, Charlie here. Um, there's something we need to talk about, actually a couple things. Um, this, this relates to the division that's clearly trying to be created between AMC and GameStop. Um, we all kind of figured this was going to happen. Uh, you know, divide and conquer, prominent strategy. Now, the areas of concern as far as the psychological differential between these two stocks is coming from uh, Ortex and none other than David Lauer. Now, I understand Ortex is a third-party data software company. They, they get data, they report data. Not sure the accuracy of this data, but uh, I wanted you to pay attention to something. So they've been clearly, you know, they show you what you must normally pay for for AMC, right? They give you the free scoop on AMC. Now, scrolling through here, I, I've only seen AMC. They, they do discuss uh, GameStop briefly, but if you want any form of short interest from GameStop, you're going to have to go and pay for it through their website. Like here, you'll have to go click this link and it, you know, refers you to sign up for Ortex. Now, while this data should be should be free, you can no longer pull this data from the NYSE website. So, of course, Ortex is going to jump in and try to take advantage of the traffic from AMC because everyone knows that GameStop isn't openly as talked about so much as uh, AMC is. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because honestly, AMC needed that level of support behind it given it had a bigger float. Do I still think AMC um, it has squeeze potential? Absolutely. Do I think the squeeze has squoze? Absolutely not. That's where Mr. Lauer comes in. So if you look on his uh, Twitter page, his last tweet is, I don't think there's any doubt that AMC with extreme levels of naked shorting, which that's just a statement he threw out there with no evidence whatsoever, is squeezing like crazy over the past couple days. This is what scares me because he has inserted himself into the super stonk community specifically for GameStop and everyone over there kind of idolizes him. Now, while I personally don't, yes, he may have experience, he may be a very knowledgeable guy, but that doesn't mean there's conflicts of interest here. So he's been in the hedge fund business, he's worked for Citadel in the past. There may be some conflict of interest going on, and there may be a reason why he particularly wants to see the split between GameStop and AMC. I believe their hope is to clearly market AMC, ignore GameStop, to try and get people to jump ship. Hopefully that's not working. I just wanted to bring this up to y'all's attention to let you know that even if somebody looks like they're trying to help you and they have experience in the subject matter, that doesn't mean they're helping you. We still need to analyze everything that Dave Lauer says. Like this right here. That is just someone in his status knowing how people feel about him in the GameStop community to not provide anything other than a Bloomberg article. I mean, come on, man. That's just unacceptable. So be wary especially of big figureheads like this. Don't let anyone convince you of anything, especially if they're making claims without any evidence. So hang in there, everyone. The squeeze is not squoze for either of these stocks. I believe they will happen at the same time, just like they've been moving at the same time, other than recently due to the high levels of FOMO in AMC. So I, I strongly still believe if we ignore all of this FUD, and all of this division crap that's being spread by all of these prominent figures, I think we'll be just fine. Hang in there, everyone, and I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday.